Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Real Yigging with another Yigging Fix, and today's video is about the error that you get when trying to update your Astro A50 headset or other headset. Now, for me, I've had this issue in the past, maybe about a year ago, but it fixed. I just kept trying and it fixed itself. Now, this time I had it again. I have my PS5 and I have a third gen Astro A50 Xbox edition. And I wanted to hook it up to my PS5, but I noticed my PS5 wasn't recognizing the audio input. And so I looked up a few videos, but no one really had a fix for how to, you know, make that happen. So I said, hmm, maybe I need an update. So I go to update and what do I get? Astro Command Center. And there's a button right here, orange button that says update now for your headset. I was on version two point whatever, whatever, whatever. But then it said update. So I go update and I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is hell yeah, I'm Gucci. Look at the notes. It says update is for next gen systems and so on and so forth. I click it and it says zero out of four updating. And I wait and I'm like, yeah, it'll start updating soon. It just needs to download the update. Well, no, I have fiber, so it shouldn't take that long. It aired out. So I went on a search. I did it again thinking, oh, maybe it'll work. It didn't work. So I went on a search on YouTube and I found a guy's video by the name of A2. I have the description down below. Good looking out A2. Your tutorial definitely helped me. The thing is, is I want to make another video because I feel like as a power user myself and somebody who helps people who are tech illiterate or PC illiterate, there were a few things in this video that I feel like could have used a little bit more explanation and tightening up, but not to hate on his video. His video worked for me, but I'm just going to update it since it's a few months later and hopefully, you know, show a few better ways to get some of the things that he described in his video because in his video, the headset update that he had didn't work for me. So I had to find it elsewhere. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so the first thing you wanna do right out the gate is if you already have Astro Command Center installed on your PC, go ahead and uninstall it. So I'm gonna click the Windows button or you can click search, either one. I'm gonna type Astro and right, over, right out the gate it comes up. Now you can go uninstall here you can right click uninstall, right click over here, uninstall, or you can go to the start button again and do add, and you should get this add remove programs. Either way is, is cool. Personally, I just like going Astro, right clicking anywhere, uninstall. So it's gonna bring up all my sauce, go to Astro, right click Astro, uninstall, or you can go up here, and click uninstall. Click yes. This is a prompt that is giving me saying, hey, do you wanna allow this program to uninstall? Yes, I do. It's gonna go over there and it's gonna uninstall. All right, so we're all uninstalled. I haven't had an issue with this program not fully uninstalling things, but you may have it. If you do, just go to the location folder and delete all the rest of the files associated with the application. So we're gonna click out of that. And now we're gonna show you where to get the new install. So I got this this link off of the, the description in Etudes video. First, we're gonna get the headset download. So I couldn't find a headset firmware download on Astro's website. So I just did a quick Google search, about the third or fourth link down, I ran into a Reddit post. They did, that Reddit post didn't have it. So I saw another link on how to install manually. And then the Reddit post had the links for multiple different headset updates. Highlight that and copy it. I'm gonna go control V, paste that or right click V, or right click paste. And you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna look here. This also has a way, has a tutorial on how to do it, but if you're a video person like me and you're trying to read and you're trying to see all the ads and blah, 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 keep watching. So you're gonna go here and I have the Gen 3. I'm actually just gonna download that by clicking. Bam, I've already downloaded multiple times. You wanna see the Europa. I don't know why it's called the Europa, but that's what it's called. And then you're gonna wanna go to get the Command Center download that 
for some reason work. Now I have all these links down in the description as well. I'll add it here, control V, paste, it's already downloading, but ow. All right, so now I'm gonna click to view this file or you can click to just download the app. The next thing we're gonna do is re-download the app. Astro blah, 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 is, a is an executable file. I was very wary of this when I saw the video. My man's doesn't have any information on his page or anything, but I took a chance and sure enough, the Astro 50 wizard popped up. So I downloaded it. Next, install, download it. We're gonna finish. You see it already popped up. Now, again, on the regular one that you get from the Microsoft store, which if you go to their website and you go to firmware or software, it actually directs you to Microsoft store for Windows. I'm not sure about the Mac version, um, but the other one, it shows a button. Now, this one, even before I had updated from two to three, it didn't show a button. So what you do is you go to this little cog next to the percentage, click it and it glitches. Of course it does. Click it and then you go to update firmware manually. But ow. Now, I don't have mine in my default, default download folder. So I'm gonna go over here to downloads, but dang. And then I'm gonna click one of these Europas. These are just duplicate files. I'm gonna click the first one I downloaded. I'm gonna go open. And what you're gonna get is a notes for the update. And you wanna make sure you see what it is. For me, I wanted to update to the latest so that I can use my headset with my PlayStation. So I see that it says, adding comp compatibility features for Xbox next generation consoles. Since, since the next generation Xbox consoles have removed the optical cable, then this update will allow users to obtain game audio and chat audio via USB. Bam. Apparently that's also supposed to work with the PlayStation. Normally, if you didn't update already, you would click yes. I've already updated, we we'll click no. Now what happened before is I would get that zero out of four and it would stay there and then it would say error after like 10 minutes. Now what happened this time, for some reason this version of Command Center was super delicious and tasty. What happened this time is it started with one out of four instead of zero out of four. And for me, I noticed that anytime it starts with one out of four instead of zero out of four, it tends to go through. So after that, you shouldn't have any issues. Quick notes, your, your headset should be on the base station, plugged into the PC in and clicked into PC mode. The switch should be in PC mode. The base, the headset should be on as well. Make sure you have a good connection and that they're not off and then the light is not red. When you're updating, the Thunderbolt will show red on mine. I'm not sure about Gen 4, but yeah, that's all for this Yigen Fix. Please, please, please let me know in the comments below if this worked for you. And if it didn't, or you had to modify some things, please list those in the comments. And if it did work for you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I hope to catch you on another Yigen Fix. Peace.